And here I go again on my own Going down the only road I've ever known Like a drifter I was bored by a coin <laughs> Guys, Bitcoin overdose here, your daily dose of crypto I overdose so you guys don't have to Definitely go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter Okay, guys, your daily dose of crypto. Buy that dip. One Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin. And definitely smack that like button down below or dislike button, depending on if you liked that intro. If you didn't, doesn't matter anyway. You should hit that subscribe button and also go over to that notification bell. Stay up to date on the latest and greatest crypto news. You guys know I'm handing it to you legit. So definitely, you know, click the link on that Twitter down below and just hit that follow button, sign in do it it's really easy and then you guys will stay up to date on everything i'm gonna be out of town next week so right now i am more focused on you know altcoins i can buy this week and profit when i'm gone so what am i looking at guys i have a little bit of a list and a little bit of a lisp that you guys should listen through and really get ready for this now what's going to be happening we're going to see a lot of uh, coins probably jump when I'm gone. Depending on if we actually get the alt season that I'm thinking we are. Um, you know, I've been looking at Doge as the indicator as well. And Doge is still up, you know, 72 sats. That's kind of where I was going to start buying. But I really wanted to see if we were going to hold it. Not only hold it, but go up. So, you know, I I mean, we jumped down from 90. We kind of reset back here at like 60 and we retested and we tested higher. So from what I can tell, you know, it looks pretty bullish. Uh, but, you know, I'm not going to hold my breath over anything until I really see some confirmation bull trend here, which if we get one jump higher, guys, going all in on all no doubt about that but i did start buying altcoins and i'm going to tell you guys which ones i have bought first we're going to take a look at bitcoin because the daily just closed about 10 minutes ago and you see that we closed at 7257 dollars two cents or 20 cents you know pretty solid i mean bitcoin's holding uh this moving average up here to 34 and that's really all that we need to do um you know what though i'm not really looking for like an extreme outbreak either way on bitcoin right now i really wanted to consolidate but you know short positions have piled up so we could get a potential short squeeze here uh, i know everybody talks about the short squeeze and what is that exactly that's when a bunch of shorts like people who bet against bitcoin going down lose out have to liquidate into bitcoin and they have to buy bitcoin so you know, what am I saying by that? Like, we have a lot piled up right now, and we could definitely, uh, you know, make those become buys and, you know, make everybody buy them. Now, what would that mean? That potential short squeeze would probably put us in the 7,600 area. Uh, if it didn't happen like that and we just organically went up, that would even be better. Uh, worst case scenario, the shorts are piled up for a really good, good thing on the short side and you know something bad is about to happen to bitcoin and we're about to dump you know if we do dump guys alt season's delayed uh we're not expecting anything more at that point uh we're definitely not going to be buying altcoins anymore we definitely have to probably sell back into bitcoin if anything does happen with bitcoin because it's just a bunch of uncertainties and i do not want to put my money where uh i don't feel comfortable and I know everybody should feel like that because this market is still very volatile. Despite what we're seeing here, Bitcoin steadily growing, the market cap steadily going up. We are getting, seems to be more organic buying, but the volume is just not to the point where I feel super comfortable yet. Even though we are mainly on the buy side, but it's just like the volume is not where I want it to be when it comes to organic growth. Like I'm talking like back here, I want like this 5k volume again. Um, that felt really solid. We're just not up there yet. We're in like the, uh, we're in like the two, three K, four K range, which means we could have reset completely and we're back in the like, you know, not moving territory, which is fine too. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that, but 
I just really want a confirmation on altcoins and Bitcoin. Uh, and I could see that happening before 7,500, but I could also see it happening, you know, right through 7,500 if we keep consolidating in this area. Like, I really want this to happen, you know? Like, I want, like, a little bit of a downshift. I want us to, like, retest um, maybe 71, and then I want, like, the straight, like, bam, right through that. And that would be very bullish for me. I know everybody else would think the same way. And obviously that means like good things. If everybody's thinking the same thing, usually it happens just because this is super speculative. But you know, if, if everybody's thinking like, or if half the people are thinking down, half the people are thinking up, it could go either way. So that's really what I'm thinking. People are not buying large amounts of Bitcoin here, but there is that one Seems to be one whale who's really been propping this price up and he's been buying hiddenly out of nowhere on exchanges for whatever reason. So we don't know what he's going to do. And you know that he seems to be a permable, but he doesn't really have enough money. I mean, you can't just keep buying the same thing over and over again. Not everybody has that amount of money. So, you know. What am I looking at, guys? What am I looking at? Because everybody cares what I'm looking at. Right now, I'm looking at BAT. BAT has been a very solid coin. I mean, this thing has stayed relatively well against Bitcoin during these bear periods. And it's definitely seems to be going up again on some type of a support right here. I mean, you can see it's forming a base. It's trying to, like, stay put. And wait for the next bull season to really start. Uh, you know, but it, I don't think it's going to get all the way down to its lows. Uh, considering this has a working product, I use Brave Browser quite a bit when I'm not filming. Because uh, for some reason, like whenever I open up a tab, I can't find exactly what pages I need to use. And I just need to go quick on here. But, you know, I use Brave and I, I got the payment systems down pretty much. I mean, they're really fun to use. So, uh you know, I, I'm okay with the product, obviously. It, it can definitely get better, and it will. Uh, I mean, these are all, like, really short. Um, you know, their, their program's not up to date yet, but obviously it will get there. I'm not worried about that at all. It uses Vanilla Firefox, which I like, so I, I'm not scared at all about that. But, you know, this this has a positive uh, growth rate coming this year. I, I You know it. Everybody should know that. It's kind of wild how... Um, you know, with the Coinbase rumor and stuff, that this coin's not up to like 6K yet or 7K sats yet. Uh, but once it does break through those levels, oof, that thing's going to be gone. And it's going to be awesome because it's going to be an onboard from Fiat at some point. I don't know about this year, but I know it's going to happen sometime soon. I'm also looking at XMR, guys. Privacy coins. And this one is by far the king. I'm not looking at Nav. I'm not looking at Pivx. I'm not looking at Verge. I'm not looking at... Uh, cloak or stealth or really anything but XMR even just the last couple of days this thing has really started to take off I mean you can see here that we have a solid double bottom forming at the tip of this and then we really see we see a V double bottom twice so like a W it looks like the Wisconsin W almost and this thing has confirmed volume support so this thing is really headed higher and i don't know how much higher this is going to go but i can tell you that xmr is probably going to be the most expensive privacy coin in the market for the coming years uh it's definitely up there with bitcoin on terms of uh how many people use it and yeah like the whole black market pretty much runs on monero at this point which you should always follow what criminals are going to do because they're always one step ahead because they need the technology and the technology is coming up on Monero. And Monero is an awesome coin, guys. I've bought in and out of it a couple of different times. I used to trade it last year, but by far one of my favorite tokens. I don't hold any right now, but that doesn't mean I can't in the near future. So I'm just going to take a look at Monero. You know, if I see it doing like some Ethereum type run where it runs up to, you know, fucking 0.1 Bitcoin or something like that, I'll definitely hop in that FOMO. No doubt about it. And I'll let you guys know when that does happen. So what else am I looking at? I'm looking at MFT mainframe. And this is a coin that I just started looking at. It's a cloud storage coin. Uh, the whole idea is like data and just everything on the cloud pretty much. 
very very solid fundamentals and you got a good team behind it from what i know definitely do your own research this is not any financial advice i'm giving no financial advice in this video whatsoever but as you can see it just broke out of its downtrend at 134 sats and this does look like it is going to head higher uh how high i don't know guys once it gets past about 185 220 i think we're gonna see a lot of upside potential in this market or in this in this uh bitcoin market i guess so mft something else i'm looking at guys i also got uh, a couple of other coins on my radar zrx something to look at as well um alt season's coming up this is also going to be one of those ones that is listed on coinbase possibly much like bat it's holding up against bitcoin pretty well and you know the daily looks pretty bad so this is usually where you enter like i mean maybe ten thousand stats would be a good enter i remember the first time i sold this coin was right around where it is right now uh back here in april it was about ten thousand five hundred stats we are getting back down there and it looks like we're adam and eve retesting if you guys see this line here uh pretty obviously it is retesting the previous uh points so you know that's pretty solid i mean if, if it can hold at this like ten thousand set area we're gonna be up probably from there we'll probably get a little bit of a curve out but we'll really see what happens with this i'll keep you guys updated on zrx i am looking to buy that very soon um there were a couple other coins ada we're also going to take a look at cardano um this coin has been all over the place if you guys see up here it hit 1700 sats back in june um you know july pretty dead month for this coin and then you see this kind of coming back up here at the end of last month now it looks like we are trying to retest support again here at 1415 sats or something like that kind of a weird support line usually they round off to the nearest numbers but not all the time if you guys want to see this fibonacci sequence here we can check that out um you know what are we looking at we're looking at some resistance at the 61 percent reptile whatever the fuck fractile is that what is that what fibonacci's are no i'm kidding the retracement tool so you know we we came back off the top about 70 percent and it looks like we're trying to catch a bottom in here if we if we move this up even a little bit more maybe move this sideways we can see that it's trying to reset and really get some ground here but it does have some upward momentum that it needs to get over these cell walls uh, if you look at the books, I mean, they're obviously flooded right now with cells. So, um, pretty big cells, I should say. So, you know, we need quite a bit of volume to get break over some of these walls. ADA, good coin long term. Uh, I know they planned on having like a debit card by next year. I don't know about that coin anymore. I don't know how that's going to happen anymore. Plus, do coins really need debit cards? I thought Paypax or PayX or whatever, 10X. TEDx coin, I think, had something about it a while ago. Monaco is another one of those, but, you know, ADA could potentially be one of those coins that is like Digibyte in the future, where it kind of just like fast transactions, good team, and stuff like that. I like Digibyte too, so I don't really have that one on my radar. So, see a coin is the next. This one looks a lot like Monero. This could pop pretty soon here. It looks like it's got some good volume behind it. Um, looks a lot like Doge. If you guys remember Doge, Doge had the same thing where it kind of two or three X in a day. And then it really settled down. And hopefully, Sia Coin and Doge both get very good uh, support lines right where they are right now. Uh, Tell Coin is not on here. BCN? That's probably not on here either. Uh, Doge, pretty good returns there. Again, Doge is the mark mark indicator of alt season so we stay above 72 sats for a long time and we're probably golden we're probably going to see doge jump another 100 sats or some shit like that and it's going to be alt season and it's going to be awesome but um you know what what else guys i had a couple other coins here that i seem to be missing up oh yeah hot i'm gonna go on binance real quick 
check out the rest of these. We're taking a look at Zill, Hot, and BCN. So, so Zill had a major retracement. If you guys remember this, it hit 2,500 sats back in April or May. And, oh yeah, it was May. And by the end of May, I mean, shit, this thing had dropped all the way down to like where I sold. And then, you know, going into the next couple of months, it's just been downtrend. We could get a nice bounce off of like 488, which it looks like we hit about 388 and started to see a little bit of price appreciation. Now, we see a lot of sell side here, unfortunately. About 622 up to, what is that, 650? We see a lot of sell side all the way up to 700. And, uh, you know, some of these orders are pretty big. It's going to take quite a bit of volume to get over. I mean, especially 700 sets. But uh, buy volume, I mean, looks decent. I'm not going to say it's completely done for, but I could see Zell waiting a little bit longer to bounce just because it was one of the early runners back in May, or like one of the late runners back in May. It could be one of the late runners here too. So from what I'm seeing, guys, just hold off on Zill for a little bit. Wait for maybe that confirmation to get up to about 720 and then retest 690 and then really try to fucking go with that but we'll see what ends up happening it did break below its moving average and it seemed to have gotten back over but we need to test five six or yeah we need to test 575 first before we're really gonna see the break from the big one up here at like a thousand stats and stuff so we do have a while to go with Zilliqua. I'll let you guys know if I enter there. I mean, this can switch in a couple of hours. We can get one giant pump and this shit can go. But it looks like we double bottomed here. It looks like we're trying to find a third bottom reversal here and the two hour. So, you know, short term, it could do pretty well. But we have to wait and see. We have to wait and see always on some of these. So VET is something else I wanted to look at. I'm saving hot for last. So you guys better stick around. Uh, definitely no. Well, we got a V bottom here. So definitely no resistance for a little bit but uh we probably will run into some here in a little bit um <clears throat> you know after 300 sats this thing is gonna run so buy at 300 sats for sure or 300 and like 40 wait for the retest of course it'd be like 320 it would probably be a good entry um but you gotta wait for these retests guys you have to wait for these retests there's gonna be so many of them coming up in a couple days here because doge is waiting so we need to know if Doge is going to jump. And I know that sounds really dumb, but Doge really is and has been the market indicator for a long time on some of these. Same thing with like Ethereum used to be, but we're not really looking at Ethereum as much. Telcoin's not on here. Um, Hotcoin, no. Holochain. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Ooh, Holochain looks really good right now. Remember, guys, I put in an order last night at about 16 sats. Um, so it is up, it hit 23 this morning or earlier today, and it looks like it has really, really good support, but this hour or this day just opened up about 20 minutes ago. So we'll see, but you know, as long as we hold above this purple moving average, right where I bought in 17, 16, 15, that area, I would say we're still in good hands. But uh, yeah, all the short term sellers probably sold up here at like 23 because what that's a hundred X in or 100% in just a couple of days, like three, four days. Obviously, you're not going to hold that any longer if you're a short-term seller, short-term holder. So don't worry about it too much. I'm, I know I'm looking at this coin in the future and I'm going to be like, yeah, I sold out at 50 sats and it's going to end up going up to like 2,000 or something like that. So I don't know. I'm holding, I'm holding that. I'm trying to fill a bag real quick. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, BCN. That was my last one so this is another low sat count coin and this hit 27 a couple of days ago we're all the way up to 35 now and i would wait for confirmation on this if it gets over 60 five sats retest 60 or 55 and then bounces back up i would say we're in the clear for another 150 that return on that or something like that it's going to be wild uh you know entering now would not be a bad idea we have a lot of green volume it's just something to look at i know i'm definitely considering a big position in this uh same thing with uh pundi x if you guys know what that one is um and uh, 
Is that Nexus? Yeah, that's Nexus. Nexus looks pretty good. A little bit overextended. We'll probably get a retest down here. Don't buy Nexus right now. Um, unless if it actually jumps over uh, 1500 pretty well. It does look like a lot of buyers have just stepped in actually. And we have no resistance up here until almost 1600 to 1800 zats. So this thing might pop really quick. Don't FOMO in. Uh, you know, guys, there's a lot of opportunities. We're not going to miss much here. We're just going to have to play them by day and by year and stuff. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Price. I'll just go to the bottom. Pundi X. Uh, this is one of those, another low sat coin, guys. These are going to pop really ridiculous this year. And these are the ones that you want to get into. Uh, I don't know if you have to know what these coins do. You just have to, like, buy them because everybody thinks that they're cheap. I was talking to one of my friends who was like outside of crypto today and you know he like oh I guess he's like in crypto but he's just not that much into crypto and um you know he owns like Ripple and Litecoin and a little bit of like other coins like BCH I think he still has but you know a little bit of Bitcoin I was like hey you should bump that Bitcoin number up but uh you know he trades every now and again I called him today and said like, hey, like these are the coins I'm looking at. And HOT and MFT were the first ones he mentioned right after I did because he was like, wait a second, that coin's under a penny? And I was like, yeah. But you know, like I said, but you have to watch out because the market cap's like in the millions, right? It's like 20 million. But, uh, you know, the way that he said it, he was like really, really, really stoked, really spiked his interest, you know? So... He was, uh, you know, when, when I guess when you show outsiders, you're like, oh, hey, like this coin's under a penny and I can buy it right now. I can get so many of those for one dollar. Like that's how people think. So that's why these low sat coins end up doing pretty well in bull markets when we actually start getting there. Uh, Storm guys popped. Looks like it's probably going to keep going uh, unless if it can't clear 155, 160. But it looks like after that, like pretty open buy walls all the way up if we can get them in there. TMB, another uh, low sat coin. This does not look like it's going to be good. So this probably can't jump over anything right now. No support. I would wait to buy until like two sats or three sats down here, really. Um, you know, not all coins are going to make this, but a lot will. So what else am I seeing, guys? Verge is actually on the verge of a tear right now it looks like a um on the daily it looks pretty solid it looks like a bull pennant's being formed on the four hour uh we're getting a lot of volume like the most volume we've seen in days weeks guys it's been nuts so this whole market is starting to look like this and this is like kind of an exciting time because we're getting a lot more money into the market just considering that the market cap dominance of bitcoin hasn't dropped that much yet so maybe we'll get a big drop in Bitcoin dominance and these altcoins will fucking surge. Or we're going to get the exact opposite. We're going to get Bitcoin dominance to go way up and we're going to get these altcoins to dump. So we'll see what happens because a lot of people will want to take profits in the Bitcoin after this. Uh, a little bit of a run, you know, and we're up 40% on a lot of these, 50% on a lot of these. So it could happen quicker than not. Uh, I-T-O-X I or I-O-T-X. Looks pretty solid after 255 sats. I would test the retest if you want to get, or I would buy now and sell at 250 maybe. And because it looks like pretty solid upswing. Um, I don't even know what other coins I need to look at. Chat seems to be holding. I don't know what chat coin is. Uh, DNT, still violent. Still violent. Definitely not a go on that. Quirk chain popped last week and it looks to be holding these moving averages. All these moving averages are important. So, you know, the more you know, BAT looks the same on everything. It did drop quite a bit on this exchange though on Binance. Um, but anyways, guys, that's all I've really got to say today. <laughs> what, 30 minutes later or whatever. But hey, it's all good. You know, we looked at a lot of good coins, guys. We looked at BAT, BTC, HOT, MFT, Zoe, ZRX, VET, ADA, Pundi X, Sia Coin, Tell. Oh, no, we didn't look at Tell. You know, well, whatever. We're not going to look at Tell today. BCN, Doge, XMR. I mean, there's a lot of coins that seem to be looking pretty bullish right now. And, you know, as long as Bitcoin holds, we're going to be 
perfectly fine, guys. We're going to be flipping those shit coins over the Bitcoins like we do here every day, guys. One Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin. Why do people hate my singing? That is a real question. I don't know. I got to talk about that to my lawyer. Don't be looking at me funny, guys. You guys have a great rest of your day, though. Definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button right down below. Smack that notification bell to stay up to date on the latest and greatest crypto news. Like or dislike this video, depending on the intro. That's the only thing I care about. I don't know about the rest of this video, guys. If you like the coins I'm reviewing, I guess you could probably comment down below or something like that. But other than that, just don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm absolutely kidding. Go talk to me over on Twitter, though. At Bitcoin Overdose. I got that link, again, somewhere in the description. Definitely look for it. I'm going to be chilling over there quite a bit because I'm going to be out of town for the next, like, five days or something like that. Anyways, I'll let you guys know more as I know more because I always want to keep you guys in the loop of what I'm doing with trades and whatnot. So, guys, let me know what you want to know. Definitely in the comments down below. One Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin, your daily dose. Bitcoin overdose. Buy that dip. Out.